Hello everyone and welcome back to Shelter 2. And we are here with Acorn and her two surviving kittens. Uh, that would be spring and winter. And where is the river? We were just about to cross the river. And I'm actually not sure where it is anymore. Oh darn. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Um, but yeah, so we've had quite a few uh, quite a few hardships this year again. Well, I say this year. I guess it would be this uh, this litter. It's a year for them. And, uh, it's, it's again been very, very dramatic, and honestly, and now I'm all turned around, that's concerning, um, but it's honestly been such, oh, there's food, okay, we're gonna see if we can get some food, uh, but yeah, it's been really, really, well, it's been really, what would even be the word for it, we've had so much trouble Oh, there it is. There's the, the pheasant. And uh, so little time. It's just like the mountains don't want us here. <laughs> it's a... Uh... Oh, there's another one. Okay, we just... We scared the one already. But uh, we, we've we had so much trouble in so little time. Okay, oh, can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, can we get it? Please let me get it. No. No. Oh, man, we missed it. Okay. Well, these guys are still okay, and I think... I think spring is coming, so we better not try and cross the river, because why are you guys running? No, okay, they're not running anymore. I don't know what was happening there, but it's just been so incredibly difficult. And, okay, why... Why won't it stop, like, spraying snow? There we go. For some reason, I thought we were still running, and I don't know why. Okay, winter's okay. For a moment I thought she had stopped and I was very, very concerned. And it looks like there's something up that way. So I kind of want to go check out what it is because if you can see on the map, there's kind of like this little area you can get to there and I kind of want to see what that is. Um, there's like a tree on the map or something. But we do need to make sure we get some food. But yeah, we just have not had good luck at all with the mountains. It's been very, very bad very very dangerous and we've lost several kittens here and I just hope these guys will be all right okay oh here we go oh whoa okay that was not good all right oh he's gonna fly oh we just missed him are you kidding me oh this is not good these pheasants are really hard to catch oh but there's a rabbit up there I think let's see if we can get this one maybe oh he's running he's running all right all right, come on. Oh, he's already flying. Can we get him? Oh, we got him! We got him! Oh my goodness, we jumped up and grabbed him. Okay. Um. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I thought that winter had collapsed. I was so scared, but I think they're going to be all right if we can get them this much food here. I think they'll be okay. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, let's see, where are we relative to where we are trying to go? We're gonna try and go up this little area here if we can. And I think, oh, there goes another pheasant. Because I want to see what's up there, and I think these guys are doing alright. And we seem to be actually finding food now. For some reason, trying to find food in the autumn is just so, so difficult. And I'm not sure I really understand why. Alright, let's see if we can get over here. Maybe we'll catch a rabbit. All right. Oh, the rabbit's going up this way. This is where we were trying to go, though. All right, there we are. What is this place? This is where we were trying to get to, isn't it? Where are the kittens? Okay, there they come. Okay. And this is where we were trying to go, right? Yeah, this is where we're trying to get to. I don't know what's up here, but I suspect it may be like a little hidden area or something. So we'll have to see... But uh, we definitely need to keep these guys close because once spring comes, they will be growing up and they'll be a little bit more self-sufficient. But um, until that happens, we still have to be pretty careful with them. Okay, we're up on this cliff here. That's a ledge we can jump up on, so we need to be a little cautious because that could mean there will be bears here come springtime. Um, but there is a rabbit, okay. Okay. And a lot of you guys have been saying that when you stalk, the kittens will stay further away because they don't want to scare off the prey. 
and that does seem to be pretty viable theory so we'll have to we'll have to I think it does seem like that is the case but um oh it's kind of a, it is kind of annoying okay here we go we should be able to run this guy down there we are all right everybody coming up here why is the music stopping why is there no music okay the music sometimes just fades in and out I think uh, but it's always a little nerve-wracking when it does, because it does feel like something is going to happen. And that always scares me just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we definitely are coming up towards the end of this litter, and uh, we probably will be to the end pretty shortly here. Um, is this the way out? This isn't the way out. Uh, but this... No, it's not the way out of the mountains. But this is actually going to be the last season or the last uh, litter of the season. So once this litter is done, we'll be wrapping up for this season. And uh, Shelter 2 will return at some point, but for now we're going to be uh, focusing on it. We'll be focusing on other series and giving them a little bit of a turn as well. So there's supposed to be like a big old tree up here or something. It showed that there's a tree, but I don't see like one specific tree. I see a lot of little ones. Are we... We're supposed to, supposedly approaching a big old tree, but I don't see a big tree. Oh, oh, here we go. Nature changes, time passes, strength grows, and bones stretches. Living is hard. So this is when they're going to grow up into sub-adults and uh, be almost ready to head out on their own. So you'll see, you can see the water is rising as the snow melts. I love that detail, too. It's just so amazing. But you can see the snow is melting. Spring is here. And uh, I think times will be a little bit easier now. And also make sure to let me know if you guys think the audio quality is okay, because I have been uh, adjusting some things with my audio setup. So definitely let me know how you think the audio quality is, because uh, I'm trying to figure out if that is a... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if this is a good thing or not. Um, so it says there's like a big tree up here, but I don't actually see a big tree. Is this it? Is this what, what's here? Are we able to jump up? Nope. Can we, can we jump? Can we jump? Nope. Can we... Oh, you guys just went that way. Okay. Um, well, Winter figured out how to get up there. And I think... Oh, here's a vole. We got a vole. Alright, whoever wants to grab that can. And then... Uh, there's a rabbit. Oh, we didn't stalk in time, but we should still be able to chase it down, I think. There we go. We got it uh, nice and easy there. We'll go ahead and let them eat it. So Winter had eaten most recently. We probably shouldn't eat, should have eaten that bowl, but I don't know. I, we didn't know we were going to find something like this. Um, yeah, so there's supposed to be like a tree. Or maybe it's just saying a forest. I don't know. I don't actually see a large tree. I'm probably just overlooking it, and you guys are probably yelling at me going, Jay, the tree's right there. Um, but I haven't seen it yet. And, um, is it this area? I don't know. I don't know what this area is referring to. But there's all these little side passages here in the mountains. What? Okay, this is just the normal music. I just heard that drum, and I thought, oh, what? What is this? This is an exit someplace. Where has it taken us? Does this say... Oh, is the tree there because we're going back to the den? Is that what it's telling us? <gasps> oh! What? What though? Wait, but that doesn't... I thought we came in... Huh. I guess that was the path back to the den area, but I... Okay, I got all turned around in there, you guys. I didn't think on the map that it showed up at the bottom. I thought it showed up at the side there. But this is how we get back to the den. Okay, that would explain things. I'm no longer confused. Some of you guys are probably yelling at me. I don't know why I was that confused, but I thought for some reason I didn't think it was just going to be back to the den area. Alright, okay, we can do this. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why that was such a such a confusion for me. I, I just got all turned around in there, but I feel like these guys would be pretty happy to be back to the um back to the area here where they they were first born and where they were kittens. I, I think they'd be pretty happy to be back and we have I don't oh 
What is that noise? Oh, that's just a vole. There is an owl that I'm hearing, though. And that's what I'm looking for. Oh, there's the tree. It's th that red one uh, where, with the owl in it. And that means that we can, uh, we can knock some eggs out of that tree and get something to eat. And that'll be good for them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm pretty glad to be back here because I think this area will be a, a little bit easier to handle than the, um... Oh, is the nest falling? There goes the nest. I think it'll be a little bit easier to survive here than it will be in the mountains because for some reason we just haven't had good luck with the mountains. It's been really difficult and really hard and I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, we're not going to get that pheasant, so let's just go for the rabbits instead. There we are. Um... But yeah, I think we'll be alright. Let's feed these guys. I'm just going to keep these guys completely fed if we can. And it does seem like there's a lot more food here than there has been anywhere else. So that's a very good thing. Let's keep going this way. And we should probably be able to catch some of these guys. I think. Here we go. And hopefully catch some of them. There we are. Oh, and two. There we go. So you guys can eat one. And we'll eat the other. And get some more stamina back. Because that will be a good thing for us as well. Alright. There we go. And I think these guys are too big now to be susceptible to predators. Like, uh, like foxes or eagles. So I think we're safe from that for now at least. Um... But we just need to we just need to keep these guys alive a little bit longer until autumn comes and then they'll head off on their own and we'll end up wrapping up our story and that'll be next episode and then the se the our shelter tube will be going on season break so do not fear it will return uh, you guys have been loving it so I'm sure we will see more seasons of shelter two in the future and be able to continue our legacy but um, for now we are going to uh, go out on a little bit of a break at the end of this week and you guys will see. Uh, some other series that will be coming in and having their turns as well. Uh, so don't worry, you guys. Shelter 2 will be back. But uh, def in the meantime, I definitely encourage you guys to take a look at some of the other seasons that we're going to be putting out. I don't want to spoil too much just yet. Uh, but we have some very, very cool... Oh, wow! Oh, nice! You caught a frog! Where... When, since when are there frogs around here? I didn't know there are frogs around here. <laughs> well, I guess there are frogs around here. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, while you're waiting for the next season of Shelter 2, I definitely suggest that you guys either go back and watch our previous seasons, if you haven't seen them already, because we do have two previous seasons of Shelter 2. Uh, so if you guys like the series and you haven't seen those already, there's definitely more you can watch. Or make sure you check out some of the series that will be coming in and uh, taking their, their places here pretty soon, because we do have... Uh, we do have a few seasons that'll be kind of rotating in here. Alright. There we are. Alright, we got two. Oh, wow. Lots and lots of food here. My goodness. Okay. Can you drop that vole and eat? Okay, they're gonna eat there. We'll eat from here. And then somebody can have that vole too, I think. Is somebody gonna eat that? Yep, you're gonna eat that. Okay, wow. So much food. We have like an absolute bounty of food right now. And that's so very different from the mountains. I don't think these guys have seen that this much food in their whole lives, pretty much. It is definitely a time of abundance. And there's an owl in that tree. We're going to go see if we can uh, get some eggs from that. Uh, but yeah, do not definitely uh, make sure you check out some of the new seasons that will be um, rotating in here. Because I can tell you right now, we've got some uh, some pretty cool things that you guys will, will get to see coming up here in the future. Even as this season does draw to a close. So we'll go ahead and um, and make our way this way and just see if we can. Uh, well, we can, we'll see if we can catch this owl here. Oh, we missed that vole, but I'm not too concerned about that because we have food that we're going to be getting right here. Um, I think Acorn would have learned well the uh, uh, the benefits of being able to prey on these bird nests because, after all, that is what she and her sister basically survived off of in the mountains for quite some time. We're gonna eat that because you guys already have your food over there. Uh, you guys don't need you guys don't need to eat that much more food. Did you find something else? Oh, you caught a rabbit. Nice job. Why don't you and your sister share that one? Because um or wait, was winter Winter's the one we said with male, right? Have I been calling Winter a girl in error this whole time? I'm sorry, Winter. 
<laughs> I'm very, very sorry. Now, now I'm doubting myself, but I think Winter was the male. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of if we have names that can be a little bit, um, a little bit more unisex. Like Winter could go either way. Um, but yeah, sometimes that can be a little bit hard because the game doesn't actually distinguish. So, like in Wolf Quest, when you go to name the pups, it'll actually tell you what gender they are. In Shelter Two, it doesn't really do that. So. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a little. It can be a little bit if you have a non-distinguishing name, that can make things a little bit difficult. But I'm pretty sure Winter is our male, um, and I think he, uh, the others were were and are his sisters. And it's interesting too because if you look, you can see the coats will change as the seasons go on. Uh, you can you can see like right now they look a lot darker at least. Not so much for winter, but at least for acorn and spring, they look quite a bit darker here. And uh, so you can see, I don't know if that's, I don't think that just is because they're in the shadow. It definitely was aided by the fact that they're in the shadow, but you can see, so like, all of them will develop white paws in the winter, and it, it looks like their paws are, are darker now than usual, uh, now that we're in spring heading into summer. And so it's really cool to see how just those little details, how the, the world and its inhabitants will change over the seasons is really just incredible. And it's one of the things that I love so much about this game is that it's so, so detailed and it's just really, really cool. Um, I think we'll head up this way and just see if there's any food around here. It's basically right now just a matter of making sure that we're finding food. We're probably gonna make our way to the other side here because I want to make sure that we're going to have enough food and we need to be trying to find some more because like, okay, there's a rabbit up there. I don't see much food and so we definitely want to make sure we're getting some more because we don't want to have the prey all migrate away from us. That does happen and uh, so we need to be a little bit cautious of that. And one thing you guys have said is that if you're stalking, it doesn't look like, or that you guys, a lot of you guys don't think the game will uh, respawn the prey if you're stalking because it assumes that you're hunting something. And so I don't know for sure if that's true or not, but it's a very interesting idea and this, we definitely gotta be careful of not stalking when we don't need to be. And that's a little bit, uh, that's something we definitely do need to keep an eye on because we don't wanna be inhibiting prey from spawning if we can help it at all. Um, oh, there goes another rabbit, but I think we'll be all right. And so we're gonna we're gonna make our way this way. I wonder if there's like a set migrational pattern for the season or if it just kind of moves away from the area that you're in. That'd be something to, to know. Uh, that could be kind of interesting to figure out, but I'm not 100% sure of that uh, or not. It's just an interesting thought here. Oh, there goes another rabbit. We should be able to sneak up on it. Hasn't seen us yet. We do have a lot of stamina currently, so that's a very good thing. We can get a little closer than this and we're gonna go ahead and run. All right, going this way, and there we go. One thing that I've found that helps uh, when you're hunting is normally I will use the the mouse to steer. So like if I'm running, I'll turn my mouse to turn the camera, which turns our links as well. And um, but when I'm hunting rabbits, I actually will make use of the side to side arrow keys a lot more as well. Or not the arrow keys, I use the WASD keys. Um, and uh, so I will actually make use of those ones to kind of, instead of just running in a straight line, to make those sharp turns that you sometimes need to. It's a lot easier to make a sharp turn like that by using the side keys than it is to go whipping the mouse around to try and whirl and catch it. So uh, you may, I don't know if you guys have noticed that I do that or not, um, but if you guys are playing this game and uh, you sometimes have trouble keeping up with the rabbits when they make those really sharp turns. That's a, a nice way to be able to actually follow them with that. Um, at least that's what I've found. That's one of the tactics I use. Um, why is it so quiet? Is it just... Yeah, it's just between music. Okay. I hear an owl. Where is the owl? I'm gonna come back up this way because I hear it in this direction, I think. I think it's over here. And is it in that red tree? Probably. There are certain trees where the nests will spawn, and they seem to be very plentiful in the mountains, but that's what makes autumn and winter so hard, is that, oh, there, this tree right here. Uh, but that's what makes it so difficult there, is because these nests are only a source of food through the spring and the summer, and uh, so that does make things a lot trickier. Uh, but you can see when you're there in the spring and the summer just how many nests there are when you're wandering around. There's just absolutely tons of them. 
And so it's definitely a great place to be in the spring and the summertime. It's just not all that nice in autumn and winter. Especially autumn, for some reason, seems to be really, really tough. And I don't really know why. Um, winter, the prey seems to come back a little bit more. But in autumn, it's like there's absolutely nothing. And so you almost have to, like, stock up on it somehow beforehand. It's also very difficult because we are playing in survival mode. Which means that... Um, uh, that when we are uh, playing, then everything is going to be more difficult. So the prey will migrate, but it, it does make it a lot more... I think it spawns less commonly as well. It's basically just the more difficult version, or the more difficult game mode. And since we are in Season 3, we started playing in Survival Mode this season. And it definitely has taken its toll. I'm pretty sure we've lost more kittens this season than we have in any other uh, but we are adapting to it. We're getting more used to it. And I think, other than the mountains, I think this has been... Other other than the trouble we've had there, I think this has... We have been doing pretty well with that. Did you catch something? No, you didn't. Okay. She was trying. She was trying. But uh, not quite. Let's go ahead and shake this tree and see if we can... Uh, see if we can get the eggs out of this as well. And then it's probably going to be about time to wrap up the episode... Uh, it's probably at whatever save point comes next. We'll go ahead and do that. Oh, oh, we just barely missed it. It ran, like, right in front of our noses. And I think I see a collectible sparkling over here somewhere. Possibly. And so I'm gonna go investigate that and see if we can find it. Um, are you okay? Alright, sometimes that meow means bad things. Uh, so I always worry a little bit, but I think they just do that normally sometimes, too. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna just head over this way. Maybe I'm not seeing a collectible. Oh my goodness, the voles are just like running right under our feet. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna head this way though and just see if we can uh, find something over here. I think maybe I was just seeing some of these bushes here and thinking they were collectible. I'm not sure. So we're, we'll just keep going then. And uh, see, yeah, I'm not seeing any collectibles over here. We, I think we found quite a lot of the ones that are over here as opposed to in the other areas. And so we may definitely try to explore some of those areas a little bit more next time. And sometime, sometime we will take on the, the mountains and win. And uh, I, I just, I'm waiting for that day. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it again next season. But for now, we're going to stay here where it's a little bit safer and a little bit easier is there actually any prey around here? I'm not stalking, no. Well, I don't see anything. Oh, there's... Okay, I see I see an, an owl right there. Okay, these guys are way ahead. Okay. Oh, in autumn when the hills are yellow and red, the cubs are called to follow the path of solitude, so we're actually almost ready for them to grow up. We don't have that much longer here. And uh, so we'll be seeing that next time, I'm sure. Oh, nice catch. Nice catch. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead, you can hang on to- or, okay, if you want to eat that, that's fine. Um, oh, there's more eggs over here. We'll head for those, and I see an owl in this tree here, over there, so we'll, we'll make our way towards there as well. And I think the next time it tells us it's saving, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up, because it is about that time again. There we go. Alright. We'll let them, uh, we'll let them eat, and then we'll head this way. And see if we can get to that nest as well because uh, every little bit helps every bit helps and I feel like acorn especially would definitely gravitate towards finding those nests because uh, that was what she was used to as a kitten so we'll make our way this way and just see can we manage to get to this nest as well we're probably gonna get over here and get cut off by the safe point aren't we <laughs> that's probably how it's gonna happen um, but let's see. And I love these details, like the little shadows of the clouds that are will move around on the ground here. It's just so, so amazing, really. Uh, this game is so beautifully designed, and I really love it. I, I love the... You can see the hard work and effort that went into it. And it's really so amazing. Oh, nice job! They're definitely learning to hunt, that is for sure. So let's go ahead and let them eat. And then you can go ahead and have that bowl. Yep, there we go because uh, I don't think you got quite as much of the, um, I don't think you got quite as much of that nest back there as Winter did. So, oh, is there another? There is another nest. Okay, there we go. All right. 
and I think we'll kind of make our way into these swamps here. Oh, but here's the save point. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.